Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. Got a real treat for you today. We have some additional Nurgle Plague Marines for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, I do hope you're going to like these. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 32 painters that all paint for bronze, premium gaming level, all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you're interested in a quote for us here at Siege, be it for a character which we specialise in, small force or a vast army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, all you need to do is select the relevant drop-down options from those that are available for your project and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome, awesome bunch of Nurgle Plague Marines. See you guys back in a sec. So let's jump in and have a look at these 42 Plague Marines for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, there's two different types of units. Uh, you've got obviously the shooty guys on the left and the more close combat guys on the right, as you'll see. Um, and obviously uh, six squads of seven, and uh, the, the number of Nurgle. Um, really, really cool selection of different uh, poses and all of these bits and bobs you can achieve with the kit, so it's really lovely. So we'll start by putting a few of these guys forward just so you can see. Now, I'm not going to pull every single one forward because there are obviously 42 of them, but what I will pull forward is just a random selection from the video, uh, those in front on the video, so you can obviously have a look at the uh, the quality across all of the different models. Again, you can see this plague green here with all the little details fully painted, all the metal work, brass areas, met, uh, uh, pus and spots and things. Um, lovely complimentary red cloth work on these as well, just to go with a green. Uh, you can see that all the little skulls and things all painted as well, and little plumes of, uh, of, uh, of sort of horns and things are all done as well. Uh, nice subtle sort of verdigris on those metal works areas and just highlighted throughout all the different areas. All the lenses done through nice stages of highlighting as well, which is really cool. Uh, again, a decent amount of verdigris on all of these as well. So that's just one of these shooty plague greens. What I will pull forward is one of the plasma guns because, not just because of the awesome orange plasma glow that it's got, but also because Adam, who's painted this, all these 42 plague greens, has done this really cool thing with some of the uh, colour shift paints and uh, has painted the eyes of all the, like, the bugs and things with it. So it actually looks like there's a bug or something on the shoulder pad or growing out of the pad as well, which is really cool. Um, but again, you can see this lovely plague green here with all of the pustules and everything all fully painted and highlighted. Again, that lovely red cloth work in between on the uh, on the sashes. Um, well, the, the demon face is kind of like coming out of the armour as well, all nicely highlighted and just some grime and stuff out of like bullet holes and things, as you'll see. But all the, the, the sinew and hide all painted through various highlighting stages and obviously every armor panel edge all highlighted as well which is really really nice loads of detail on all of these and sorry to use a pun but they are literally dripping with detail um, and again we've got uh, just one of the champions here you'll see with obviously a, a, a sword and also a bolter uh, again really really cool pose obviously he's just looking to give someone a very bad day there all the spikes and metal work all highlighted through various stages as you'll see uh, but super crisp highlighting throughout on all the armor panels all the gold work the casings of the guns um, absolutely everything done to a very, very super sharp standard. So that's just one of the champions. We'll pull forward some of the uh, other heavier weapons. I've, I've forgotten what the name is, so please do put it in the comments, guys, because I have forgotten. Um, but it'll be nice to have a reminder in there. You can see, obviously, this chap here uh, with his very Baroque armour, as you'll see there, with all the different little details all painted through various stages of highlighting. Again, an absolutely lovely finish on these. Uh, very suited to Nurgle, so very grimy as well, which is cool. Uh, but again, yet still very clean as well. And hopefully what you're seeing as you look at all these different um, different models is that you could mix up all of these models and uh, you could put them into different units and the consistency would match from model to model no matter which squad or you or you know force organisation you put them in. Uh, we do pride ourselves on consistency here from model to model as you'll see. Uh, you can see these lovely bug eyes on this guy's helmet there as you'll see. That's done with those colour shift paints and it really does give that real bug-esque kind of look which is really cool. Uh, Verdigree done on all the bells there as you see on the brass work. All the teeth picked out and painted through various highlights in stages which is nice a little bit of texture on them as well which is quite cool uh, and then obviously you've got all the little extra little details around the back uh, all painted as well which is really really nice so that's just another one of them uh, i'll pull forward a couple from the other other squad just you can see obviously the consistency across the other of the shooty uh, models again you've got this guy here with this uh, flesh cape as you'll see there and that's got loads of highlighting and reds and purples glazed into it as well to add that sort of saw sinew kind of finish to it and again, you've got that lovely orange plasma glow on all of these that have got plasma with that pus uh, or plasma dripping out of it. I don't know what that would be. Um, but as you'll see there, again, all the sinew and hide and everything done and all the brass work with some lovely verdigris as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just another one of the Plague Marines uh, from the shooty side. Uh, we'll pull one or two more forward, just a guy with a bolter, just so you can have a look. Um, 
There is one more that I would like to show you because he's got a little friend and I'll show you that in a minute. But this guy here, as you'll see again, and all the lenses and everything all painted, uh, those lovely red sashes as I mentioned, and then all the brass work again, done to a set of fashion, all that flesh and, and hide all painted as well. It looks very, very sore, um, which you'd expect uh, with a Nurgle model with the head just clinging around there on, on these clattering around on his leg. Uh, and one of his lenses is just uh, is gone as well, as you'll see there. But again, all the lenses and things in a complimentary reddish kind of orange. Now there is one more chap I do want to show you because he has got a cheeky little friend and we couldn't have Plague Marines going to see Lawrence and the guys without a little grotty to go with him. Uh, and you'll see he's got a cheeky little friend uh, jumping around on his backpack, as you'll see there. But another plasma dude here with a friend for Grotty. And um, if you've got a name for him, how about we put some names in the comments for this chap's little friend? Uh, maybe Lawrence and the guys will uh, will take the name and run with it. But uh, I do hope that you like him. Again, you can see the same consistency across all the little models, um, bits and bobs and nodules and things that are on the armour. And again, I do like the brass work on this guy as well uh, and across the force because it's very it's sort of ancient looking, which is a very fitting for obviously a, a plague marine and a champion of chaos that's been sort of going around for a very, very long time. So that's just uh, another one of the plasma guys with a friend for Grotty. So please name him in the comments. And then we'll move over to the uh, to the close combat side. So we've got obviously the guy with the flail here, as you'll see. Uh, again, really, really love this, how menacing looks. You've got those bug eyes again there, as you'll see. But a really, really cool finish on this chap again. So that's just him. And then we'll have a look at uh, some of the other close combat variants. This guy has obviously got a bolter, as you'll see there, with a knife and blade. Again, you've got that verdigree work across all the areas of the models, uh, which is really, really cool. So that's just him. And then uh, let's have a look at a guy that looks pretty menacing with some massive axes. So this is this chap here. Again, you'll also see he's got that sort of knife with some, a brass knife with some verdigree down there, and this lovely, huge, formerly a chain axe, I'd imagine, but it's grown some teeth, uh, literal teeth. Um, <laughs> and then obviously you can see all the chain work and chain mail that's on him. Nice little highlighting done on there as well, just to make it look grotty and dirty. Uh, but uh, but obviously it's just still very fitting with the Nurgle theme and you've got all the skulls there on the pad as well. Super pristine and white as well. He's been cleaning those. Um, have a look at another one from that side as well. You've got all the flesh work done here on the pads, but they are covered in detail, guys. Like there's loads and loads of details. Now there's still a job just working through all of these and getting to a super, super refined consistency from model to model across the whole entire force editions. Uh, we'll pull one more forward. Let's pick one from the second rank just so you can see him. One with an icon of Nurgle there, as you'll see. Uh, again, really, really, really cool. Those lovely, great big white teeth. He's definitely been going to the dentist. And um, and then you've got every little bit of detail, all the little sort of um, the flesh parts that are growing out of the armour, which is really cool little detail on these Nurgle models, uh, all painted as well. And a lovely complementary sort of orange to the green um, lenses on these chaps as well which is really really nice again I'm not going to pull every single one forward but I've pulled forward a selection of them so you can see them and we'll finish off just by looking at one more flail because they are really really cool these uh, really devastating looking weapons um, and again every every bit of detail on these painted to a super high standard and uh, lovely edge highlighting done throughout on all the armour as well so I do hope you like them guys we're back in a second just have a brief overview of them and uh, you can find out how to take out a project with us here at Siege so I'll see you guys back in a second So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope that you have liked these awesome and disgusting Plague Marines for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. I'm sure Lawrence and the guys will use them to disgusting effect. Uh, so if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character which we specialise in, a small force or a vast army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those that are available for your project. And and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Uh, also, in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. Uh, all you need to do very simply is go follow and like us respectively on those to keep up to date with all the things that we do here at Siege. Uh, and finally, while you're here on YouTube, give us the video a like and a thumbs up. And also, if you do hit that bell icon and subscribe, you will be notified when all the new videos do go up on our channel. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.